This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Delmarva Dental Services. Uh, it's something you do twice a day, and you've probably been doing it all your life. You're doing it right, though. Uh, what we're talking about this afternoon is brushing your teeth, a habit that's just one part of overall good dental hygiene. And we're going to cover brushing and more. To do that, with us this afternoon is Dr. Lee Aki with Delmarva Dental Services here in Historic Studio D. Thank you so much for joining us Thanks today. Thanks for having me. Okay, so uh, it seems like a pretty darn simple routine, but there is a right way and a wrong way to take care of your teeth? There is. There is. Um, and it's important to find out what the right way is for you based on your own needs and your own dental health. So it'll be different for everybody? Correct, correct, yes. Oh. Yes, um, so depending on your gum health, depending on what restorations you already may have, genetics, that sort of thing, your, your disposition to getting new cavities um, or gum disease, there are lots of different things that can happen. So we're gonna start right off with talk to your dentist and find out for sure. Absolutely. Okay, Yes. what about your toothbrush? How often should I be changing out my toothbrush? So the American Dental Association recommends that you change it every three months. Um, and that could mean the head of your electric toothbrush or pitch the manual one, but it's also important to remember to throw it out if you've been sick um, and also not to share your toothbrush with others because the bacteria in your mouth can be transferred from one person to another. And it hangs out on your toothbrush? Yes, it does hang out on your toothbrush. Okay, manual versus electric. What are your thoughts? Manual is the one you think of. Uh, it's the one where you do all the work and it comes in a lot of different varieties, sizes, that sort of thing. But if you're not doing it appropriately, then you may not be accessing all the surfaces of the teeth. Electric is the one that's either going to oscillate, vibrate, or spin. Um, and it sometimes is easier because the head of the brush can be smaller and rounder so for some people that's more accessible to reach the areas that need to be um, be cleaned so you got to remember you've got to reach the cheek sides right. the tongue sides the biting surfaces and then you got to add in the in-betweens which is the flossing part and there's different grades of toothbrush I've seen medium soft absolutely so medium and hard are not recommended uh, some people will say but it cleans it better it really doesn't. You're just brushing harder and you're actually destroying the enamel on your teeth, uh, particularly if you're also adding in some of the more abrasive toothpaste in addition to that. So you really want to use the soft brush. It will do the work if you're brushing appropriately. Gotcha. Okay, what about in between the teeth? In between the teeth, number one thing is floss. Now there are lots of different ways to use floss. You can use the string, um, which even comes in different thicknesses or waxed or unwaxed, but then you also have the pre-made floss threaders. Um, you have little mechanisms that you can wrap your floss around to help you reach different areas. You have water picks, you have uh, proxy brushes, which look like little bottle brushes that fit passively in between the teeth at the gum lines right. to clean plaque there, um, and rubber tips, and there are a variety of different things but again it's important to just get in between the teeth because those surfaces have to be cleaned too and ask your dental professional if you've got bridges or other dental work there may be one of those other proxy brushes or rubber tips that are best for you gotcha okay well, uh is my diet going to affect my teeth? Diet absolutely affects teeth. So it's important to think about, one, your genetics. Are you someone who's predisposed to gum disease or cavities? Have you always had issues with this? The levels of bacteria for both gum disease and also decay are different in different people. Um, but the amounts of sugar and acid that you keep adding into your diet really make a difference, especially if you're highly prone already to having one of these issues. Mm -hmm. The acids and sugars deteriorate the enamel on your teeth, and therefore cause more decay. Um, so again, if you're a high decay person and you keep sipping on sugary drinks or sports drinks or coffee with sweeteners in it, sweet tea, lemonade, those things are gonna break down your teeth really quick. Ah, uh, do, do I really need to do something with my tongue as well? You do need and to clean your tongue. Why? So the tongue where all the little bumps and the, we call them papilla, but um, taste buds and everything, they pick up a lot of plaque and bacteria just as well. So you can use your toothbrush um, to brush the tongue. Some people find that makes them gag a little bit, so they do actually make something called a tongue scraper, which is like a flat plastic piece that you can reach in, pull forward, and clean it off. Your tongue shouldn't be brown or white it should be a pink just like the rest of your gums gotcha go back as far as you can as far as you can yeah yep without gagging <laughs> what about whitening my teeth whitening is a great option and a lot of people do it it's very popular with today's cosmetics um, and it is safe to do it does not permanently destroy the enamel of your teeth mm -hmm. however you need to keep in mind that if you have fillings or crowns they aren't going to change color by whitening um, so you know again talk to your dentist prior to doing it because right. you may find out I'm going to need to replace this filling once my teeth get whiter around it um, and it can create some sensitivity during the whitening process, so you may also need to add in a sensitive toothpaste or change some of your diet um, restrictions while you're doing that process. Now, I've seen a lot of do-it-yourself whitening. 
Yes, there's a lot of that on the internet today. Um, charcoals, rub lemon on your on your teeth. Right. Um, so a lot of these are really going to be a bit abrasive. I would not recommend doing these things. I would actually stick with your basic toothpaste and consult someone as far as whitening your teeth safely. Talk to your dentist. Talk to your dentist. Talk to your dentist. Yes. Dr. Yes. Lee Aki, Delmarva Dental. Thank you so much. Thank for you. Wonderful talking to you.